Hello. <laughs> Hi Capricorn, how are you? I hope you guys had a wonderful week. I hope you are ready to uh, hear this reading. <laughs> hope you have a good uh, weekend ahead of you. Real quick, before we get started, feel free to skip ahead if you are impatient. <laughs> I um, just released these today. These are on my Etsy shop and my website. Um, I've created smudge sprays. They are elemental vibe sprays. So they clear the energy like a smudge spray. Um, smudge sprays are an, are an alternative to saging, to incense. If somebody is uh, sensitive to smoke, if somebody is renting and they can't have a lot of smoke in their apartment, or, you know, they're just a great tool. They're like spiritual colognes. I have a huge collection of spiritual colognes. I have several different smudge sprays for different purposes. Um, so I have created one for every element. Uh, do you need to get your element? Absolutely not. They all are for different purposes. So the earth is for stability, practicality, and purpose. Yeah, so for like grounding, if you um, need grounding, if you need help manifesting things into the physical, um, if you're a little bit too cerebral and you need to pull yourself back down, um, this is what this is great for. Now, if you are an earth sign, do you need the earth spray? Mm, you tend to connect more with your element. So, I mean, you might, but it also might, you know, be good for you to get the water so that you can connect more with your intuition and your emotions or the fire so that you can have a little bit more behind you you know or the air to help you focus and get into that more like logical you know you don't have to get one that just is your sign um so these have tiger's eye tiger's eye pieces in the bottom what i like to do is i like to shake it because there are essential oils anointing oils um and then the crystals you know they they soak so i like to kind of just give them a shake and then you just spray it around uh, you can spray it and then run tarot cards or your crystals through the mist. I um, had to restart the Sag a couple of times because my phone died and then there was some interference. <laughs> so um, my cards are a little damp right now and I don't like to use them when they are wet. I don't want to, um, they're just a, like cheap card stock. They're not like, you know, they're not like plastic on them so anyways i don't want to spray my cards right now they're slightly damp so i'm just going to spray it behind me to pull in earth so that we can do your earth reading thank you <laughs> i appreciate you for allowing me to do that let's get started how are you guys doing how is everyone Let's see. What do Capricorns need to know this week? What do Capricorns need to know? Ooh. Seven of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Somebody has a lot of dreams that will bring them abundance, that will bring them wealth, that will bring them financial security. They are uh, setting their intentions now. There is a new moon in Aries on, um, I believe, Sunday. New moons are for setting new intentions. They're beginning of a new cycle. Aries is house of self, so it's really great for self-image, um, for how other people's, uh, people's, how other people perceive you, how you perceive yourself. Um, so. Aries new moons are really great for if you're trying to get in shape, if you're trying to do some like inner work, if you're working on confidence, um, things of that nature. If you want to kind of change your perception of yourself, change how other people perceive you, work on appearances, stuff like that. Now, does it have to do with, you know, that? No, not necessarily, but you know, that is the like absolute best for that purpose. So if you're trying to you know, get that bikini bod in shape. The new moon in Aries might be a good time for you to set your intentions. And I'm not trying to body shame. No, I'm just saying this is an example, you know. <laughs> Please. <laughs> if you want to, you know, work on getting in shape, eating better, eating healthier. Um, Virgos are uh, sixth house, sixth 
house is good for that as well. But um, again, first house is how people perceive you, how you come off to other people, how you perceive yourself. So anything in that arena would be really great to set intentions for. Set intentions for anything, but that is, that's what this new moon will deal with specifically. Anyways, okay. Seven of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, the Sun. Underneath, we have Two of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Two of Cups. Four of Cups, the World. Queen of Cups, Page of Wands, Death card. Yeah, somebody has a, a new beginning here. There's been an ending that has resulted in a transformation. Um, Saturn is here. That is your ruling planet, Sat. And that's Sat. I just did Saturn reading Capricorns. Um, Taurus, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody has a lot of dreams. There's a lot of options. You're trying to figure out what you really want to put your time and energy into, what you want to pursue, what, you know, somebody might be trying to figure out a career, a step in their career. Um, you are trying to set intentions with bringing more um, stability and financial success into your life. Somebody really, and this is a very much a Capricorn thing being the 10th house, somebody really wants to build like a legacy that they can pass down and you're doing some you know, you might have a lot of different ideas and you're trying to hone in on like, what is it that I really want to focus my time and energy on? Um, might be doing some self-reflection here. Uh, two of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. So somebody had a lot on their plate, but they know that they need to kind of make a decision about what it is they want to focus on because uh, juggling too much and maybe even, you know, trying to juggle several different relationships you know, that were draining you, you're recognizing that you're not able to move forward as you would like. You kind of have had some setbacks because you had too much and you kind of needed to redirect your focus. Somebody is deciding to be single um, and really take their energy back here because there has been some rejection around a soulmate. There has been some deception with the seven of swords. Somebody has decided to go off on their own path um, because they recognize that they are very loving and giving and they deserve love back and this kind of I am going to take my power back and focus on myself has um, Yeah Abundance will be coming to you with the wheel of fortune because you have done some healing here Somebody has really done some healing and went through a transformation where they are recognizing that they may have been over giving to other people and putting themselves on the back burner and somebody is kind of redirecting their focus towards I have a lot of dreams too, you know, and I don't always have to be giving my time and energy and advice and attention to everybody. I kind of want to be selfish here with the sun. Like, um, it's time to focus on me. I'm tired of giving over giving to situations and ended up feeling rejected. I have too much on my plate. I need to shift my focus so that I can actually move forward. Somebody is recognizing that another person was um, possibly an Aries. <sighs> yeah, somebody um, has been left out in the cold here. Somebody has been ghosted. You've stopped talking to somebody. You have ended a situation um, because, because somebody was being dishonest about their options here. You're recognizing that you are the empress and you deserve somebody that's fully committed to you, not somebody that's going to be sneaking around and cheating. There was a, and I do get that it was a soulmate connection too. So I, I don't get that it was a karmic. Um, I get that it was a karmic soulmate. So you did genuinely have a soul connection with this person, but you were in a, a karmic cycle with this person where you were giving a lot of your time and energy to this person. And this person had their eyes on different people here. And you're kind of recognizing now that 
Um, you are the empress, you know, you ought have worth, you are desirable. Other people want you, you know, this person may, may have made you feel like you needed to compete for them, may have made you feel like you weren't enough, may have made you feel like you needed to give more and more to the situation. And now you're recognizing that like, I am not interested in this back and forth with you. I'm not interested in, you know, chasing somebody that has eyes for everybody. I am seeing the truth about you here that you have, and you, this person may have even drained you financially with the five of cups, but I mean the five of um, pentacles, but yeah, I kept secrets from you with the high priestess. Something here has come to light. There was some sort of secret here. Somebody was lying and being deceptive. Um, Page of Wands, you may have found somebody uh, messaging somebody else. You, Somebody may have um, found messages between their partner and another, like, you know, somebody was sexting another person. Yeah, being reckless. There was a breakup because somebody was being stupid and... Um, Somebody was sexting with somebody else, somebody that you were dealing with, you found out that they were sexting other people, they were flirting with other people, they maybe had like a, a secret social media page you didn't know about that they were using to look for other people. There's been a breakup here because somebody uh, was foolish, somebody that you were dealing with, Capricorn or Crosswatcher, um, did not see uh, your worth. And you have decided to take that time and energy and put it back towards yourself here. Let me clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this was a, a soulmate here. And this might have been somebody that you were with for a long time, Ten of Pentacles. Or it could have been somebody that you really thought that you were going to have a future with, that you wanted to build with, that you were, you know, trying to create something with. But this person tried to make you compete for them. This person put you in third party situations with an X. The Wheel of Fortune is Jupiter. It's, you know, change in fate. It's abundance, but it's also like uh, somebody coming, circling back. Somebody circling back. Somebody kept, was texting their ex here. Sexting their ex, maybe. Sending like, you know, inappropriate messages to their ex. Was in a relationship with you or, you know, take it how it resonates. This is somebody that you do have a soul connection with. This was a soulmate connection. But, and there was genuine love there, but this person was a flirt. This person liked attention. This person uh, wanted you to compete for them. So, you know, it's like this person tried to make you jealous on, on purpose. This person would go and flirt with other people, maybe in front of you. This person is kind of toxic and needs to grow up. You have learned here that there was a secret and it has to do with, um, yeah, there was a, a breakup because you, somebody was being dumb and flirting with people. You know, they, you might have found out that they had like a, a Tinder, they had a Bumble, they had, um, they were sending nudes with their ex. It was something like that. Temperance here. Um, Sagittarius. Yeah, this person wants you to work things out with them now, but they're toxic. This is somebody that you really did love. You wanted to build something with. You saw a future with. You might have even, like... This might be somebody that you had a family with, you wanted to have a family with. Maybe you talked about getting married one day, you talked about having kids together. Um, there is a genuine soul connection. You do have past lives together, but this person brought chaos into your life because they craved attention from the village, you know? You can't build with somebody that craves attention from the village. Yeah, you're the empress here. You're the empress. People are, yeah, the star. You are the star. And now you're following your intuition to heal yourself because this person really hurt you. You're leaving this person out in the cold now. Yep, what did I tell you? Queen of Swords, you've cut this person off. And you're focusing on yourself. 
Can I clarify the Seven of Pentacles? The Emperor, King of Swords, um, Four of... The Emperor and the King of Swords, Four of Pentacles, clarifying the Seven of Pentacles. <sighs> There's been a fight here over somebody taking too long to come forward. Somebody was cold, they weren't offering, you know, they weren't giving to you, but they wanted to hold on to you. There was genuine love here. Underneath it, they did love you, but there was ego involved. With the uh, emperor coming out, this could have been like a twin flame relationship. This could be a, a divine masculine here that, you know, is trying to manifest their feminine, but not taking action in the relationship and being cold towards this person, but again, holding on to them. There was, um, there was a fight here. There was a fight over things not moving forward. This person holding on to you, not letting you move forward, making all these promises to you, but is, the relationship is not going anywhere. And this person is not providing you emotional support at all. And this person um, is entertaining other people. They do love you underneath it all, but they have an ego problem. This person like needs constant attention. This person, anytime you fight, is going and texting other people. You know, anytime you get into an argument, they're, um, you know, downloading Tinder to go talk to other women. They're, you know, Snapchatting nudes to exes. This person is very toxic. And they want to control things. So it's like they want to control the pace of the uh, relationship. They want to control where the relationship goes. They um, And anytime you disagree with them, because you are the emperor and empress. This is your it's this counterpart. Anytime you disagreed with this person, they would go cold on you. And then they would go entertain other people. Six of Pentacles, the moon. Two of Cups. Yes. This person came in and out of your life. And um, had uh, the Moon Two of Cups. This person um, loved you, but they would not tell you how they felt about you. You gave all of your time and energy to this person. And they were in and out of your life giving their time and energy to other people. Yeah. You backed away from this person and then they went to go have a, a commit to a third party. They gave, they, they, um, There's been an argument here. This is like uh, counterparts, but this is counterparts that are not going to be coming into union. So this is either soulmates or twin flames here. Um, you got into a fight with this person because they were not moving it forward. They were cold. They weren't able to tell you how they felt about you, but they would not let you go. They would not let you go. This person was coming in and out of your life, giving time to other people, have, tied up with karmics. And it's like, as soon as you would stop feeding into this situation, if you pulled back, if you try to set boundaries with this person, they would go and text other people and text them sexually, you know, go look for hookups, go get on Tinder, go start sending nudes to their exes. They had, they might've even had like secret social media that you didn't know about, like a secret Instagram, a secret Facebook that they use to hook up with people. When you finally pulled back, because like I was saying at the beginning of the reading Capricorn, you made the decision to focus on making your dreams a reality and what would bring you wealth and, you know, stability into your life. 
when you made the decision to choose yourself, this person made the decision to give an offer to a karmic. They went and got into a relationship with a karmic. And with the fool here, they feel stupid for doing it because they thought that they were going to make you jealous. They thought that they were going to go be with this other karmic, post this other karmic, you know, and that was going to make you make a decision to come back towards them and want to be with them. But they were a liar and a cheater, so you blocked this person off. And again, there is going to be a fight here um, about this person not offering anything. They're manipulative. They say they want to be with you, and so you say, okay, let's do it. And then it's like anytime you tell this person no, they're going and trying to hook up with other people. They have a lot of issues here. This person like doesn't know how to express their emotions. They don't know how to be loving. They may not have had that modeled, you know, in their relationships. They, they don't know how to show love to people. They don't know how to be a good partner. This person just kind of does what they want to do and you need to agree to it. And if you don't, then I'm gonna go find another person that will, is their attitude. And they've like tried to throw that into your face, Capricorn, that like they try to make you feel like you're replaceable. They rub other uh, people in your face. This person does. I get that you found out about it, that they were keeping secrets from you, but I, I get that when you pulled back from this person, they went and got into a relationship with somebody else, and they may have even like tried to make a big deal about them being in a relationship with somebody else, you know, posting this person everywhere, you know, telling you they have a girlfriend now. This person feels stupid for doing it because they thought that by getting into a relationship, they did not want to be with the other person. I don't get that there was any feelings towards the other person. I get that this person has an ego problem. This person craves constant attention. This person has a lot of inner issues they need to work through. This person runs from love. So they feel love towards you, but they fear being vulnerable. So anytime they really start to feel connected to you, 